Hello everyone, this is Amiti Sensei. Today we are going to change this white dog here into a zebra. This dog picture is lacking a little flare, so we are going to make some big changes and turn it into a zebra. We will be using the Nia from Adobe Photoshop for iPad. When it first came out, it was really thin on features, so people weren't too fond of it. But lately, things like tone curve, hair clip, and other features have been released to round it out. In photo apps like Photoshop, there is usually a layer function bundled in. We are going to use this function to make this dock into a zebra. As for what a layer is, we have this layer panel on the right here. Right now we only have one layer, and we can make it visible or invisible. Below we have a plus button, and if we keep pressing this, new layers will be added above like this. Think of layers as like an invisible filter. By piling these on top of one another, we can make images and generate effects. For example, if you want to change this stock into a horse, we make another layer, layer 1, and choose a brush. Today we'll be going with one called Rough Roller Ink. And then we draw lines on top, like so it looks kind of like a pattern. With this layer 1, we can make it visible and invisible, and delete things afterwards too. But if you draw directly on the image like this, we can make it invisible after, or everything disappears. And if you try to use eraser to get rid of these black parts, it deletes the image itself too. You can tell that it's see-through, right? We definitely don't want this. We want to keep the image below as is, and draw on top of it. So we are going to split into layers and go from there. First, choose the new layer, layer 1 that you just added, and then we are going to draw the zero stripes. Rather than trying to make it really neat, let it be a bit messy. It's more realistic that way, like this. Even those rough parts just make it look more real. Just keep on drawing the stripes like this. If you can, it's always better to draw while looking at a picture. Zebra stripes have a regular pattern to them, so if you can follow that using a picture, your dog will look a lot more like zebra. We'll end by doing the face. This is pretty difficult actually. Zebras have this nose shadow where the stripes extend down quite a bit. It's like they're going from the nose to the chin. It's a pretty weird pattern. If you don't look at your picture and work carefully on this part, you won't get a zebra in the end. So I'm just going to take my time and focus here. And once you're done, ta-da! How does it look? Super zebra-like, right? I still haven't drawn the main yet, so this is all I have so far. But once that's finished, this dock is going to look just like a zebra. I'm going to start on that now. But looking at it, we see that the nose doesn't look quite right. It's just black, like I color it with black ink. So I'm going to make it blend in more with the skin. To do that, we're going to use a function called Join Mode. Right now we have our stripes on layer 1, and we can make them invisible if we want. If you look down at the property panel down here, we can see the join mode menu. We are going to go with the overlay mode. And there we go. Suddenly, it all blends together nicely. The bright parts become a bit brighter, and the black lines stay visible. This is called overlay mode. With this though, the stripes have gotten a little faded, so we are going to duplicate our layer. Press the duplicate button, Copy the layer and choose Burning Linear for the Join Mode. When you do, it's a bit too dark, so let's turn down the opacity. And there you go! Everything looks more natural now. What do you think? I think it definitely looks more like actual black far. 
Next, we are going to add some highlights and shadow. Finally, we are going to add the mane. We are going to draw this by hand. Just add another layer on top, pick up the brush and get drawing. I'm using a thin brush and just gently drawing it with my apple pencil. By the way, I'm using the brush name Brush Pen this time around. Use that one and draw your mane as deftly as possible. And with that, we are finished. How does it look everyone? Even from close up, it looks pretty realistic. Super zebra looking. The mane came out well too. It looks really majestic. Finally, we are going to take one last look at the layers. You can see that we have many on top of each other here. And as we make each one invisible, the dock underneath comes out. We have the stripes, the mane, and the shadows and highlights. By layering them like this, we made this dock into a cool looking zebra. How was it? If you enjoy it, please hit the like button down below. I've also put where you can download this dock picture we use for free in the description down below. So feel free to click the link, download it, and try to do something similar. You can also post them on Twitter. I'd love to see your work. Alright, that was our mini tutorial for today. Please give Photoshop for iPad a try, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. See you next time! Bye-bye!